Do you believe that business is hard? I am busting this myth for good and showing you that business is easy. Here are four ways to retrain your brain from believing that business is hard to seeing it as easy and fun. Success comes so much faster when you're having fun. So many people say that business is hard. I hear this all of the time from people who are successful and also those who have given up and those who are just starting. I have literally never heard a single person say that business is easy. And my honest belief is that business is easy. And I'm going to show you how. I even asked my husband to confirm this. I said to him, since I started my very first business, have I ever complained to you that I am finding my business hard? And he said, no, that I generally just talk about how much I'm enjoying work. To me, business isn't hard. I've even heard quite a lot of people say that anyone who tells you that building a business is easy is lying. And that statement really gets to me because the statement business is easy is just an opinion. It's not a fact. And that means that everyone is going to have a different opinion about it. And if something requires me to have an opinion, I am definitely going to choose the angle that is going to attract more success to me. Because when you believe that something is easy, success normally comes so much easier too. So therefore, I choose to believe that business is easy on purpose. And it's not to say that I don't have challenges. I definitely have as many challenges as the next person. And despite these challenges, I still decide to say that building a business is easy. So let's look at some other examples of things that people might consider easy. How about eating food? Most people say that eating food, yeah, that's really easy. You just open your mouth, put the food in, chew, 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 swallow, easy. However, how much mental turmoil do people usually go through when they are trying to decide what food to eat, especially when they are losing weight, which most people are? All of the guilt associated with eating, not to mention the physical discomfort associated with overeating and the guilt that people go through after eating something that they don't think is healthy, something that most people would agree was easy is actually full of challenges for a lot of people. A lot of people actually find it hard, but yet when you ask people, is eating easy? They'd say, yeah, of course eating is easy. They've just decided, that's their opinion, that eating is easy. They've just labeled it as easy. They've just generalized their opinion of it. And I do the same with business. I look back with gratitude for the journey that I've come on. And despite my challenges, I still say that business is easy. So why do I do this? I am going to share my reasons with you today. Now I'm going to share my biggest secret when it comes to seeing my business as easy. And this is one of the biggest secrets to success. When you start to see your business as easy, success also comes easy to you. So here are four ways to see building a business as easy. One of the biggest techniques that I use to help me decide that business is easy is to compare running a business to other things in my life that I have decided have been very hard and very traumatic. So for me, here are some of the things in my life that have been very hard and very traumatic. What was hard was fostering teenagers who trashed our house and cried all night long. What was hard was having a horrific hand injury while being heavily pregnant, having to have an emergency operation, not being able to move my hand for the last month of my pregnancy, wondering if I'm even going to be able to pick up my own baby, while also moving house at the same time to a brand new area hundreds of miles away from family and having nightmares every day over the trauma of my accident. What was hard was thinking that labour pain couldn't possibly be as bad as the pain of my hand injury and realising it was a million times worse. 
What was hard was having debilitating chronic fatigue syndrome for six years in total on three separate occasions and not being able to look after my own kids or work or even do chores around the house. And all of this is what I would call hard. And I could add a million more hard things to this list that I've experienced over the course of my life. And I've gone through a lot of hard and traumatic things as a lot of people have. And I do not call something hard when I get to wake up and walk down the stairs to my lovely office, make a lot of money by typing words on a keyboard, doing something that I love, all in the comfort of my own home, where I get to work when I like, eat when I like, and set up my environment exactly as I like. I don't have anyone telling me what to do, I get to choose everything I want, I get to work with people that I choose, and I get to help millions of people in the process, and I literally do wake up feeling so grateful that I get to work from home, doing work that I'm passionate about, helping people, being creative, and playing to my strengths. So my question to you is, what is the hardest thing that you've ever been through in your life? Now compare that to running a business. Can you see that a business is easier than that thing? Maybe it's closer to being labeled as easy for you now too. So next time you're tempted to say business is hard, ask yourself through all of the hard times you've gone through in your own life, do you really want to put your business in the same category as some of those traumatic things? Or can you start to see that business can be easy and fun if you decide it is? So the next technique involves just looking at the actual physical work involved in running a business and comparing it to some other people's jobs to help you see your work as easy. And if I think about some of the horrendous jobs that other people have had to do in their lifetimes, that might include things like catching rats, executing people, burying plague victims, being a minor and potentially dying young because you are so ill through all of the the fumes that you've had to endure and the dust and being a soldier how horrendous would it be to be a soldier in a war zone what about being a slaughterhouse worker and as somebody who can't stand seeing dead things and dead animals and somebody who doesn't eat meat, that would be one of the worst jobs that I could ever do. You might disagree, um, but this is just my um, list of what I think would be the worst jobs that people could ever do. What about a similar job like being a roadkill collector, collecting dead animals from the side of the road, being a sewer, sewer cleaner, being a crime scene cleaner, like cleaning away dead bodies and blood off off of surfaces. Ugh, I can't imagine anything worse. And if somebody asks me for the simplest way to describe the work I do all day, so say for example somebody says, well, um, you know, what is the, what physically do you do at your job? And then I would say, well, I sit down at, you know, a nice comfortable house. I sit in a nice comfortable chair in a nice nicely decorated room and I open my mouth, I do some talking, I move my fingers, I do some typing and I do some thinking, I use my brain and I think of ideas and then I put those into practice and form words that come out of my mouth and um, do some writing with my hands in journals and in comparison to some of these horrendous jobs I feel so blessed that my work is so easy, it's so comfortable, and you can't really argue with that, can you? My work is literally the stuff of so many people's dreams. How much would these people give to just have a really, really comfortable life like I've got? It couldn't get any easier than this. Here's the third way to see business as easy. I see business as a fun game. Now, we all know that the best games can actually be challenging and there are definitely some ups and downs in all games but most people play games because overall they're fun and that's the philosophy I have when it comes to my business. When I ask my children to do their chores and they often moan and groan about them and complain that they're too hard and they're too tired but when they're 
they, when they finally finish the chores and they're allowed to go and play their video games, suddenly their energy soars and they'll leap and they'll bound off and they'll run up the stairs and they they can't wait to get to their exciting activity and suddenly everything's easy again. And people never describe playing games as something that's hard, even though games are naturally designed to have constant challenges. And if games didn't have challenges, they'd be really boring. Games also have a very steep learning curve. And when you first start playing a game, you feel like you're not good at it. And sometimes you doubt if you'll ever get the hang of it. But as soon as you've had your first achievement, it motivates you to keep going. And the more often you play games, the easier it gets and the faster your success becomes. And if you could see running a business as a fun game, how differently would you approach your business? So why are you putting so much pressure on your business being successful? How can you take that pressure away and not depend on your business but for anything but fulfillment and fun? Here's the fourth way that I see my business as easy. Taking the focus off making money and putting it on helping people can really help to relieve the pressure that you might feel working on your business. If you could just help one person every day, would you feel like you were doing some good in the world? If you could just find one person who you could help every day in your business, it can really take the pressure off reaching millions and making millions. Every million was made by reaching one person at a time. And yes, it's true, the bigger your business grows, the faster these individual people will appear. But every group of people is just made up of individual people. So if you start focusing on just one person at a time, other people will feel your energy and will know that you are interested in helping them and they'll be naturally drawn to you as well. One reason a lot of people find business hard is because they are trying to control everything that happens within their business without realizing that you co-create your results with God or the universe. You can only control your own actions and thoughts. You can't control how many customers you have, but you can influence this by using manifestation techniques. And I am just curious, have you ever tried manifestation before and you couldn't get it working for you? Have you ever tried to manifest results for your business? A few years ago, I was fed up, overworked and business strategies and manifestation techniques just weren't working for me. And after a lot of experimentation and some soul searching, I finally discovered where I'd been going wrong. Once I'd learned how manifestation actually works, I was able to feel confident to start a business that I'd been putting off for years and manifest the doubling of the business revenue on my passive business that had been static for a very long time. And I have shared my system for manifesting more revenue, more customers, more ease and flow while doing work that you adore, working the number of hours you choose, all without any hustling or striving in my signature course called Dream Business Manifestation. I take you on a 30 day journey from manifesting being the person you want to be to manifesting your dream business and manifesting the money you desire to make. And you can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash manifest. And I'm also so excited to share my free masterclass with you called Double Your Revenue Masterclass. And if you've tried all of the strategies to grow your revenue and it's still not increasing, this free masterclass will help you easily get to the next level. And I'm sharing three extremely powerful manifestation techniques to help you manifest your first sale and double your revenue. And this free masterclass is part of my dream business manifestation course. So grab it now free for a limited time only by going to kathkyle.com forward slash double. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.